Welcome to Memento Argentum, where remembering the silver screen is a requirement, not a request. I will be your host, E.E. E. Lin, and allow me to tell you a wild tale. The story starts on a railroad as it's being built. When a black man decides to take revenge on the heartless overseers, they capture him and sentence him to a hanging. Meanwhile, an upper-class businessman is plotting to make even more money by convincing an entire town to leave so that he can buy the land for distress sale prices. He sends his goons to tear through the town and wreak havoc, but when they petition the governor for help, the townsfolk do, specifically for a new sheriff, he gets a grand idea. Why not have the black man become sheriff and let the townsfolk kill him? Then it's only a matter of time before he'll get the land. Things don't turn out as they should, and soon the new sheriff and his deputy are the only things standing between the town and utter destruction. Blazing Saddles, <laughs> this, was released in 1974 and stars Cleavon Little, Gene Wilder, Slim Pickens, David Huddleston, Claude Ennis Starrett Jr., sorry, took me a second to read that, Harvey Corman, Madeline Kahn, and Mel Brooks. It's rated R, unlike the second movie in this grouping. Uh, <laughs> the second movie, for some reason, is rated PG. Still not quite sure about that one. It's Young Frankenstein. Uh, this was requested by a subscriber because I could not fulfill their other request. Because I did not, I couldn't find the movie that they had requested. I looked, and not even the library had a copy. So, unfortunately, I had to settle for doing a trio of Mel Brooks films. <laughs> Unfortunately, Blazing Saddles, Spaceballs, and Young Frankenstein are the three that I'm doing. Uh, this film's biggest issue, before I go into my opinion of it, is that TV got a hold of it. Like, at the base of it. That wouldn't totally be a bad thing necessarily, except it felt like they were playing it nonstop for about a year on one channel in particular. So I understand when people say they've seen it too many times to enjoy it much anymore. However, this movie still has some hidden gems thanks to the censoring that's required when adapting to the small screen. Like, some of the scenes in this, I didn't remember because they weren't allowed to show them on TV. So they would remove them for the cut that they showed on TV. So a lot of the jokes that ended up getting played out were the ones that were family friendly. and. At the base of it, the entire movie has been overplayed. It's unfortunate because this actually d does actually kind of hold up pretty well. It works for the meta commentary movies. If you're looking for one of those and you haven't seen it in a while, watch Blazing Saddles. Uh, but some of the jokes that are not so PC still play pretty well because they weren't allowed to be shown on TV. Um, I thought that Cleavon Little, I really hope I'm pronouncing his name right, I'm sorry if I'm not, and Gene Wilder's friendship that they have going on in the movie works really well. Like, they play off of each other perfectly. Gene Wilder is oddly calm in this film. Not quite sure why. He's usually kind of manic. Like, even, even in his Willy Wonka was kind of manic at times. It was kind of weird. But in this, he plays a chill dude, and it's great. It, it really is fun. I love the banter that a lot of characters have in this movie, and that's one of the things that saves it, even if you've seen it a bunch of times. So in my opinion, it, it still holds up fairly well. The choreography and the music, like, the fighting looks par for the course for the cheesy, schlocky 50s all the way up through the 70s westerns that they were doing, and the musical numbers that get added in are wonderfully cheeky. It... Mel Brook is, Brooks, sorry, Mel Brooks uh, is wonderful at his job of doing musical numbers. Um, yeah, I, I really thought it was enjoyable. I understand if people don't want to rewatch it because it was played on TV for so long. I don't even remember which channel it was. It was like AMC or something, not AMC. Uh, it, it was one of those channels that would just play old movies a lot, and for some strange reason, they were just playing Blazing Saddles, it seemed like, 24-7 for a while there. And that's, that's the biggest issue with this movie, along with 
some of the un-PC jokes don't always land correctly. But on the other hand, it's also making fun of white folk more than it is anyone else. So it's it's a little bit funnier because that's what I feel like is better about that sort of humor. If you're going to make that sort of humor, turn it on the majority, not on the minority for the joke. Because if you turn it on the minority, it feels like bullying. Uh, I'm going to keep saying this. If you want me to review a movie, let me know what it is in the comments. Uh, if you want to show me some love, become a subscriber. If you want to show me even more love, become a patron on my Patreon. Shout out to Amanda, who's awesome. And join me next time for Young Frankenstein, where Gene Wilder gets back to his manic ways. <laughs> Until then, adieu.